Live uh, today at alancoxshow.com. Who's assisting us today? Mach Borgong. <laughs> you right over there? Yeah, sorry. You got some arugula stuck in your throat? Yeah, some something. radicchio? No, not that. This salad is he radicchio. Is radicchio. Hey, your Guardians play tonight. How about them Guardians? Uh, they're holding steady. Second in the AL Central. With 57 wins, they are, uh, well, what do you want? How many games back, though? Um, four? Whatever. Hey, listen, it's a beautiful summer to play baseball, and that's what your Cleveland Guardians are going to do tonight down in Cincinnati, home of sloppy spaghetti. Ugh. At, I still haven't had it. You don't need to. Well, everybody says that, but that just makes me want to try it more. It's just that those places are gone. I think up here. I thought the one that was like reopened the one or something. At, um, Ridge Park Square. Yeah, that was the one I was thinking of, but I thought that was gone. Well, anyway, we've this is well tread ground. One of these days, I'll get over there. I was going to go to the movies over the weekend because I was flying solo for a few days, and Pound Cake had been kind enough to get me a gift card for Christmas. That's good at a bunch of different places. One of them is the AMC movie chain, but that Ridge Park Cinema is like the only AMC left. Doesn't matter. It's expired. In, what's that? Does it expire? <laughs> Gift don't cards don't expire. <laughs> you paid Some money do. for it. <laughs> Some there's do. a rich maybe after five years, the, but I mean the, this the one. There's think, the Rocky River AMC too. That's is that an AMC? Yeah. Those it's feasible. only got six theaters though. Those well, I I, I, I was movie he wants to see the app that I was using. That Rocky River didn't come up, so it was just Ridge Park for AMC. Yeah, that's the only one I go to. Is I mean, Rocky River obviously would be closer to me, but if I'm gonna, my point is. If I'm going to make it a day of movies and Skyline Chili, well, I'm going to no. want to go out to Parma. No, you cannot because there are three Skyline Chilies in northern Ohio, one in Lyndhurst, one in Stowe, and one in Mansfield. Those are your options. So the one in Parma is gone. It is gone. Okay. I'm on SkylineChili.com. <laughs> oh, you are? Using their interactive map. Well, that's so nice of you. I wonder why AMC Rocky River doesn't come up. What app, app are you using? Fandango. No, I don't know. Like the floating Fandango bill oh. for which I will have tickets around 350 all week. Now that we're on the Lady Caroline, confirmed that we're on the brand new boat. Boy, we are going to be cruising in style on the 26th. Well, in style other than the fact that we're putting it on. But otherwise, really stylish. I'm excited to see the Lady Caroline. I'm excited to get inside of her. Oh, yeah. And see what happens. And as we're men, and we will be on the water. Please, Bill, speak for yourself. We will be water men inside of her. What? Well, because insta- we're not going to be on the sea. So water we're not going to be sea. Up. There's not going to be seamen inside of Lady Caroline. Can be lake men. You don't know where I've been. Well, first you said water men, now it's lake men. <laughs> yeah. This is why I'm confused. I'm in a lot of pain right now, so my brain Are is you not really? working. Yes. Yeah. What's going on? My shoulder is jacked up from something I did today. Probably just something like doing stuff around my house today, moving laundry around or something. Laundry messed your shoulder up? This is a big. Are you 100? I, I'm telling you, it hurts. <laughs> Do you want ibuprofen and sure. or Midol? Those I'll, are the two I'll items do, I'll I I'll do an ibuprofen. You. But I, because I have this big hamper that I put all my laundry in, and I think when Like I one was, of those tall ones? Yeah, it's like a tall cloth. How like, many you want? They're 200 milligrams. I usually take uh, four. Three's fine. I'm an addict like you. Brian's the same way. I you need, usually take I need four. One. You take four 200 milligram ibuprofen? If I'm in pain, yeah. 800 do. milligrams is the recommended. I don't know what's recommended. Well, you said you take four of them. That's what I take, yeah. Right, but as somebody with issues, maybe... I'm not going to overdose sti- on ibuprofen. I didn't say anything about overdose. But it also doesn't give you any What's the sort recommended of, dosage? Probably I have no two. Idea. It's not... It doesn't make you high or anything. Not the point. I want to stop you're all, being... If you're all willy-nilly with the recommended dosages, you know, they recommend those for a reason. I'm looking out for you... And William Scott Squire over here, who, let's get back to it, threw out his shoulder doing laundry. 400 Apparently. milligrams every four hours. So that's two. Well, that, wait, that's for menstrual You're cramps. taking 800 that's once weight, a pop. Mild to moderate pain, 400 milligrams every four hours. I don't even take that much for my menstrual cramps. I take Midol for my menstrual cramps. And I'm a Midol snorter from way back.
Ugh. Yeah, Brian is like. How long medicine. until those kick in, Billy? I don't know. It's about a half hour. Hopefully. 45 minutes. Yeah, it, I, I don't know if it was the laundry, but I just, that's the only thing I can really think of that was like. When were you lifting last? Because that's yesterday. more likely that you did something but at I the gym. But I feel like I would have felt it at the gym. Not it's also a much better day. story than laundry. Yes, I was lifting yesterday. Very heavy weight. So mm-hmm. were strong. I lifted 2,000 pounds in one go. Were you, are you, were you doing. I mean, eventually it was 2,000 pounds. Were you pounds. doing uh, very heavy low reps? Uh, Yeah, I was doing, but it was bench press. So, like, I don't really use my back that much i mean you use it a little bit but that's more chest and triceps you know what i've worked into my situation now that has changed my life what's that dead hangs oh yeah oh my god those are good ones on my chin-up bar my pull-up bar mm-hmm. in the basement i just hang in the morning when i get up how long do you hang for a few minutes that's yeah. good yeah that's you, really hard to do it's great but it's I, very good my for hands you. start to hurt after like 20 seconds my hands. they do well get gloves yeah no, like my hand, like the muscles. I don't have grip oh, strength. Oh, your hand. Well, oh, I see. But that's good because then you'll say, build it. Poor up. Brian. Since I, I don't think he needs me to be squeezing for life for two he, straight He doesn't minutes. need you to have grip strength. Not like that. I don't know what he likes. Holding up 140 pounds for two straight. I don't think he needs all that. All right. No, they're great because you know they say that when you sleep, your body kind of elongates. You know everything that's kind of compressed in you during the day. That when you sleep, you kind of elongate because everything. Uh, your muscles relax and blah blah blah. Now you're probably it's difference is probably negligible. You're probably talking, you know, maybe a few uh, millimeters or something. But first thing in the morning, boy, those are fantastic. Yes, have- pound cake. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say since I've been working out, I've I've done sit-ups. Where do you bit- do that? Oh, Orange Theory Fitness. Um, but I haven't done pull-ups in a very long time. Like, well, you're potty trained. Like I've been doing pu- uh, push-ups and crunches and all that good stuff. But I don't know. I imagine with my big arms now, I'm fully capable of doing a decent amount of pull-ups. But like, I just I've never been anywhere to do it. So that's something. Yeah, but continue. just be, but big arms aren't necessarily the the key to doing that, though. You need some lats, baby. Yep. Yeah, that's what Science. I'm saying. I don't, I don't know what I'm because you're lifting of. your whole body. What you should try it. It's more your back than anything. Well, it's all mm-hmm. of it. I mean, well, you know. Well, depending on which way you're pulling. Like, if you have your arms underneath. That's a chin up. But that's oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. That's a chin up. Um, that's you, all you chin, should, baby. <laughs> a little chin music there in the gym. It, it was funny because when we were in high school, when I when I was at JVS, they had a pull up bar in the cafeteria, if I'm remembering cor- correctly. I think that's what like the uh, U.S. Like, like when they used to recruit. Oh, but that wasn't there permanently. Uh, the army would bring that with them. No, it was like in the wall. Because I remember sitting, being at lunch, and we had one like that. Doing pull ups in the middle of lunch, I'm like, oh, see people trying to like, you know, promote themselves. They want to show off, but yeah, I I always thought that. And think about that. That's kind of like traumatic. <laughs> you, you, you have a pull up bar in the middle of the cafeteria, and everyone's looking at you to see you how many you can do. Do one pull up if you want your lunch, fatty. It's peer pressure. <laughs> <laughs> peer. You know, a little peer pressure can help sometimes, though. I couldn't do a pull up. You couldn't do one pull up. No, I don't think so. Really? Like from a dead I bet you hang? could. I bet you could well, do one. Well, I could do one if I could like jump and pull myself up, but from a fully dead hang, I don't know that I could do one pull up. You know, like crossfitters bouncing all over the place and yes. calling them chin ups and pull ups. Um Yeah, I could probably do one of those, like a cheated swingy one. But like from a dead still hang, I don't know that I could do I have zero arm strength. You should work on that. I'm trying. I hear Brian likes a tight grip. Okay. Why do you know that? Because yeah, he tells me things, Mary, that he can't tell She's you. Do we up. have many, many things in common. I know you do. We both take signs to shows and then leave them in the car. You both like uh, we both in- ibuprofen. <laughs> we both like a single ibuprofen. No, see, I grew up not taking any of that stuff. I grew up in a house where if you had a headache, my mom goes, have some strawberries. What? Now, for whatever, because there's properties in foods that will kind of, you know... Uh, but as an adult with my own money, I was like, there's a simple fix for this, yes. right? I have a headache. I don't want to have a headache. I'm not going to go buy fruit. Uh, let me take an Excedrin. Yeah. Right. But like 800 milligrams is what they give you at the hospital. That's what I mean. Like if you've just had, let's say that's shoulder good. surgery, that's what, you know, my brother-in-law is convalescing for like 
six weeks because his bicep pulled from the ligament pulled. So he so it like just rolls up like like an old yeah like a cloth uh, vertical blind you know. So gross. So he had to have uh, surgery this past weekend on his on his uh, bicep. And man, that is funky. I also have a really low tolerance for pain. I I have a very high tolerance. What do you have a high tolerance for? Your BS. I don't think so. You're Bill trash. Squire, really pure don't. BS on YouTube. I don't think you do. I think I do. I think you no, have. I don't. I don't. You I don't get at all. I get tired of you real quick. <laughs> you started you tired make, of me. You, you make one comment, and I'm like, I'm done for the day with this guy. Mary knows. <laughs> no one knows more about your pain threshold with Bill than a gay man. You're don't right. forget about that. Cody, what's my pain threshold? Zero point zero. <laughs> zero point. Yeah, but she just said that. She it's said not that she zero, has a, but it's with Bill. It is with Bill. It's pretty low. Yeah, I thought you were still talking about him. All right. Well, my physical okay, fake pain right, threshold is it's well, not high. Maybe you'd surprise yourself. Let though. me come up there and pinch you. No. Zero point. Pinch her. Zero. Well, see how see how much she can. Tolerate. But that's a very tiny localized. That's like a bee exactly. sting. Exactly. We'll start there, and then I can hit her. <laughs> I, I always think I always think of pain tolerance <laughs> as people hair. that have to deal with like chronic pain. Like, I don't have that. Yeah. I don't like being uncomfortable in any form of the word. Really? Yeah. You said that sarcastically. <laughs> when I was no, 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 no. I didn't. Uh, no, I mean, I, I think I think people are too worried about being uncomfortable. I'm not worried about it. I just but you don't. try to she avoid it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But so you would you would you would take uh and you would make an effort to avoid being uncomfortable. Correct. Yeah. So like I got a Brazilian today and. I switched Why from... Why so many? What? What do you, you mean? you got a Brazilian of them, Mary, because oh, Bill and I Brazilian. aren't very good okay. at uh, math, Numbers. but yeah. I switched from going to a place that does waxing to a place that does sugaring, which is like oh, this yeah. different thing where it's j- literally just sugar, lemon juice, and water. Nice so clean bubble. It's a lot better for your skin, and the way that they apply it is different, though, so they... Normally with waxing, they apply the wax with the the way the hair grows and then rip it out against it. With sugaring, <laughs> with sugaring, they apply the wax or the sugar against the hair growth. Yeah, then they put a candle in it and ask you to blow it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lamas class over there. But uh. when they apply the sugar against the grain of your hair, that is the painful part because you're not used to feeling it pull that way. Mm. And um, I take ibuprofen before I go in for that. I will say. So who likes short shorts? Mayor likes short shorts. Mm. You can take me, but you cannot take my bunghole. What, Cody? <laughs> I will say the, the last time I felt like pain where I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm spasming and I need to like lie down was. It's called an orgasm, Cody. <laughs> no, mm. not that type. It, w- it was like Sunday. Or, well, it, w- it was Saturday night. But also into Sunday because I put together that stinking couch and I use one of those. Oh yeah, uh, I saw a picture. It looks the good. Allen wrench. Yeah, it doesn't. How'd look, you yeah. like it? It doesn't look like you at all, Allen. I don't know why they call it that. Well, hex wrench, but the Allen is the brand name, I believe. Yeah. So I I put that together and it was for w- what should have taken an experienced couch putter together would be like two hours. I didn't see it. <laughs> um, it was on his story. It took, looked pretty good. Took me like five hours. I sent it. I put it in the group chat. Okay. Um, but it yeah, but it's always better to take as much time as you need to I, get it right. I spent that whole Saturday because I didn't have anything. Because so really okay, to do. one of your pictures said you put something on backwards. I put the what whole, did you? <laughs> the part where you sit on, like it was, it was on backwards. You put the horizontal, uh, the base part on backwards. Where you're supposed to put the cushions on, and I didn't yeah. realize until <laughs> no. I got to step five, and it's like okay, put uh chair legs and the on. holes are on the That's other side. That's always the worst and I, part. And I'm like, wait, how am I putting the chair legs on where you're supposed to sit? I was like, God damn it. <laughs> like, I was like, no. Pain mm-hmm. without love, pain. Hey, I like this band. I know you do. You like the song. <laughs> you just don't like what they're singing about. Right. So I had to undo everything I just did and then flip it and, re- re- and reverse you gotta it. You got to flip it out <laughs> and, and reverse it. You may have to fix your couch. And then reinstall it. And it, so again, what should have taken me two to three hours took like five to six. So that I, is the worst when it, you mess up on step two, but you don't realize yeah. until step. You're like, Damn. yeah, because because the directions it's like hieroglyphics. Like I looked at it, and clearly I thought I was doing it right because I was like, oh well, if the if the screws go in. They, it fits. Like clearly they're not going to be where they're not supposed to be, so it fits. I did that with it, my 
fireplace bookshelf. I have a fireplace uh, and TV I, stand. And I put it all back. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that um, uh, as far as spending all that time. I remember when they told Sammy Hagar that he could no longer drive 55 miles an hour. He complained about that. He'd said, you know, it used to take two hours. Now it takes all day. And so in that way, uh, Pound Cake has a lot in common. With, with who? With the Red Rocker. And, and with Samuel Hagar. And Pound Cake, who did he sing for? Hagar, Hagar. Uh, um, he replaced somebody. Oh, you're never going to know this, but I want to know. He's been on the show. Do you know who he Yeah, we did a charity Sam, thing with him a couple of years ago. Do you, do you know who he is? Sammy Hagar is the now the lead singer. Not uh, now, but. Uh, or was of, uh, and we work with them. So yes, that, it's someone we work with. They're on our station. Someone we work with. I don't know they why. They get played he, on our station. Not even that mm-hmm. much. Did they I wish they got played more. Oh, I thought they performed. Oh. Okay, no. No, they were not at Buzzard Fest, Sammy if Hagar. that's what you're about to say. Sammy Hagar, I was like, I know. Uh, it's okay. If it doesn't come to you, it's not going to come to you. It doesn't, I mean, it's not coming to no. me. He, he replaced David Lee Roth in Van Halen. Van Halen. There you go. <laughs> Damn, that was it. I heard He's it was like, oh, I was on the tip of my tongue, Van Halen. What happened to the rock trivia? Like, I this was uh, That was your calendar. Question. It's still in it the. Like two years in ago. the locker. Yeah. It's in the locker, yeah. Okay. But we only did it for the year that you had the, the fact of the day mm-hmm. calendar. Right, the trivia of the yeah, day. Yeah, it was for a specific year. Yeah. Yeah, but it was like 2020, wasn't it, or 2021? Rock tri- because every time I come back from a break and I go, "Hey, who do you think this is?" If I'm playing bumper music, and you go, "Willie Nelson," and it's like you know Metallica or something. So, <laughs> Willie Nelson. Well, whatever you throw out, I'll play something, something that's dumb. very <laughs> clearly not it means you don't know Metallica, and you sure as hell don't know Willie Nelson. Who smokes more pot? Willie, Willie Nelson. Nelson smokes more pot. Willie Nelson is the answer to every question. Who smokes more, smokes ah, more pot, this Snoop guy Dogg. or Willie Nelson? Well, th- that could only be his equal. But I think if you were to pit anyone against Willie Nelson and then play the who smokes more weed game. Cheech uh, and might... Chong. Cheech and or Chong. I don't think they smoke anymore. I don't think they've smoked for a long time. Tommy Chong. That's true. Tommy Chong pushing his line of edibles. But um, I don't think they've smoked in a long time. Nevertheless. My point is, eat as much ibuprofen as you can. Mm-hmm. Dr. Mayer yeah. signed off. I, did, mm-hmm. I didn't take any medicine after that. Um, and it was, I was just having, like, spasms. And I still have, like, a bunch of calluses on my hand. Um, and then, like... Well, those will come in handy. Like, spas- or like spasms up my wrist and my arm. And then, like, my legs, because I was, like, crouching in certain spots. So I just kind of, like, laid in my bed that entire night. And I was like, should I have, like, a male collar over? I'm like, no, because I will be of no use. I don't even want to do anything. So you wouldn't even be able to just lay there. Have you had You wouldn't in? have the, um, yeah, has anyone come over to Chris and, uh, what do we call? end up calling your place? Pound Cake Palace? PC, PC Penthouse. PC, PC Penthouse. Penthouse yeah. <laughs> has anybody come over to Chris and it yet? Yeah. <gasps> oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, congratulations. Okay, mm-hmm. good. Good job. Mm-hmm. And how was that? No, it wasn't Ghost Bag. Ghost Bag probably did watch that interaction. Ghost Bag is a voyeur. Yeah. He doesn't participate. And he's certainly putting in the work, going up six six flights to he look through my fly, window. Can dummy? Oh, it's I know. Hard for him. Levitating up. Alan, it took Pound Cake a long time to make that couch because he's not handsy. <laughs> <laughs> he's not a handsy guy. <laughs> really wasn't a handsy man. Well, but he didn't take him that long to christen his apartment because he is a handsy guy. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Alan Snoop Dogg has stories about about getting out smoked by Willie Nelson. Yeah. Yeah. Just one so far, Pound Cake? Just one. It's good to know. You've only been there for like a couple weeks, so. Not even a couple. Oh, yeah, exactly, because it's the 15th. Two weeks, yeah. Yeah. And and most of my stuff's still in bags and boxes, so I need, I probably should get on that, huh? Yeah, do what you want. Do what it's your life, It's your place now. You live alone now. You got a couch now. You can live like that for the rest of your life. I'm saying now now that I got a couch, I feel, again, that was for like other people, because I'm, I use the couch. Specifically because I had it. <laughs> like, it was there. I'm like, damn it, I put all this work into this couch. Someone's sitting on this damn couch. So I made Did it come my... with pillows? No. Do you need some? Yep. I know for a fact I have so many couch pillows. Yes, I need some pillows. I can get you some. Why pillows. do you need pillows for the couch? So to lean against. That's what the cushions are for. To lay on when you would like to lay and watch television. You wouldn't bring your pillow from your bed? No. No. Those I mean, you could, type, but that's weird. Pillow. I'm just saying, why throw more crap into your apartment? I mean, two two throw pillows are not going to take hey, up listen, space. Hey, listen, I'll like, tell you what, it's death by a thousand cuts. I'm sure when Brian bought his first live, laugh, love sign, he was like, <laughs> this is going to be fine. I'll have one. And yeah. look what happened. He got addicted. 
Now he's got signs in every room of your house telling people what to do there. I understand. You got I a sign in your me. bedroom that says sleep. Bathroom we don't. Pee. Well, that's next. No, there's pee, every yeah. there's every instruction in our bathroom except pee. There's you have a dump one? No. <laughs> it says there's one that came from my apartment that has a clawfoot tub that says breathe, relax, unwind. Oh, in so the bathroom. The in the bathroom. I well, that was from my apartment, so that was my I I gifted that as a part of the problem. And then, but then he had one that goes in our little shelf that's above the toilet that also has a sliding barn door. Bet you wouldn't have guessed that. Um, that sign says, "Brush, floss, rinse, wash." Does he get angry if people don't do it in that order? I'm working on a bit about that. <laughs> this is what I like to do. Pee pee poo, pee pee poo, poo poo. I like to do too. Poo poo, pee pee poo. Poo poo, pee pee poo, poo pee 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 poo poo poo. Oh, pee pee's what I like to do. Pee pee poo, pee pee poo, poo poo. I like to do too. Poo poo, pee pee poo. <laughs> be every time you open up the toilet seat. Yeah, the big Broadway finish <laughs> there. I've got to take a break. If you want to send a text, 35192 uh, to get me there. If you're listening on the iHeartRadio app, you can leave messages for us, and we'll be back. An aquatic event four years in the making. Finally.